Sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. You don't know where you are. You don't know what to do. Start moving in some direction and that'll give you some clues or some indication or some immediate feedback about where you are and you can start assembling a better picture of what's happening. It's irrelevant what other people say. And once you come to understand that, the noise quiets, okay? If you can understand that it is irrelevant what people gossip, it is irrelevant what they say, it is irrelevant if they laugh, it is irrelevant if they doubt you, it is irrelevant if they talk shit, and you understand that the only thing is relevant is what you do, you're going to succeed. The emptiness in your life isn't because you don't have enough rights. You have all the rights there are. You have more than you should, and it isn't because you lack consumerist options. You have Amazon and pornography, man. You can get whatever you want whenever you want it. And if that's still not working, well, what are you missing? Well, maybe you're missing the opposite of that. A little bit of restraint, a little bit of sacrifice, some responsibility. So stress comes from ignoring things that you shouldn't be ignoring. Um, I think in large part. So uh, stress doesn't come. People get stress uh, wrong all the time, in my opinion. Stress doesn't come from hard work, for example. You know, you can be working incredibly hard and loving it. And likewise, you can be out of work and incredibly stressed over that. You know, we're, we're, we're all writing a book. What's your book look like? Mm. What does your fucking book look like? Like your, your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? How do you silence the noise? You silence the noise by accepting what reality is. It has nothing to do with those people. It has everything to do with your actions. And if you're smart, you will take that negativity and you will draw the energy out of it and you will let that propel you with productive action. And that is, that is how you do that. I talk about this all the time. People say, I've had a traumatic life. I say, well, then you're very, very fortunate. You had a traumatic life. Now you may have misused that trauma. You may have misplaced it. You may have accepted the matrix telling you that you now have an excuse to fail as opposed to using it to grow. But every single man of value went through trauma and they went through pain. It's going to be painful to get strong, painful to get rich, painful to become important. It's going to be painful to become good with women. Your heart's going to get broken a bunch of times. You have to be prepared for the pain. If you're not ready for pain, you're never going to be anything that, that matters. But that f f reframing the way you're looking at things and seeing opportunities instead of seeing punishments and instead of seeing downturns in your life seeing opportunities it's just going to have such a much better impact on the way you you where you get to so from a monk's perspective perspective the greatest power is to be self-controlled to be able to train the mind and energy to focus it exactly where you want it and when you want it to be you are completely detached and undeterred from external ups and downs. You're able to navigate anything that seems tough, challenging, fun, excitement with the same amount of being equipoised and balanced and equanimity without being too excited in pleasure or being too depressed in pain. If you start looking at like, if you got to go between obstacles and you start looking at one of those obstacles, you're going to hit that obstacle. That's, you know, there's like a tendency that you're going to hit the obstacle. You're going to go where you're, what, what you're looking at. Yeah. Do something you're very passionate about and don't try to chase what is kind of the hot passion of the day. Hey, it's going to take everything you got. It's going to take way longer than you think. You're going to lose all your fucking friends along the way. Yeah, you're going to make new friends, but you're going to spend a lot of time alone. You're going to be stressed. You're going to be tired. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to be angry. You're going to get bitter sometimes. You're going to want to quit every motherfucking day. How do you sell that to someone? Yeah. That's a hard sale. If you're in a spot and you don't know what to do and you're not sure where to go, 
and you don't know where the right direction is, start walking and start looking for opportunities and they'll show up.